Did you know Columbus did not actually discover the Americas? And while we're exposing lies, let's talk about the fact that Christopher Columbus is not even his real name. He was born in Italy as Cristoforo Colombo, but is known in Spanish as Cristobal Colón. However, he referred to himself as Cristoval or Cristovam. Anyway, Cristobal is a prominent figure all around the world. He is credited for something that he did not do, and he is celebrated for doing things that we were all taught not to do, like lie and steal and commit genocide. The Library of Congress describes him as mysterious and controversial, as if describing a brand new reality TV show. There was nothing mysterious or controversial about encroachment and murder. Cristobal initially set sail with the intentions of finding a new route to what the Europeans called the Indies. He was unsuccessful at getting Portugal, France, and England to support his trip, but he was able to convince Catholic monarchs King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain to sponsor his voyage. He set sail west looking for the east and landed in the Caribbean, which he thought was the East Indies he was looking for. So he named the people that were already there Indians. However, the native people that were already there had already established their own name, culture, and language. The second time Cristobal set sail from Spain, his intentions were then to conquer and colonize the people that were inhabiting the land that he wanted to acquire. One of his biggest goals was to convert them to Christianity so that they were easier to control. Cristobal made a total of four voyages to the Americas. Keep in mind that he never set foot in North America. Throughout his journey, he explored different parts of the Americas, including South America and the Caribbean. And each time he landed, there were already people inhabiting that land. These people had already established connections and trade routes to different parts of the world, including Asia and Africa, long before European colonization. Cristobal documented that he witnessed this in his journal. The Africans and Native Americans had formed connections and shared genetic codes long before Europeans had even discovered their existence. The first natives that Cristobal encountered on his journey was the Arawak people when he landed in the Greater Antilles, which consists of Cuba, Haiti, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. The Arawak people also inhabited Florida, South Carolina, and Georgia long before the Creek and Seminole Indians. The Arawak people are another nomadic tribe. They are American Indians that are indigenous to the Greater Antilles as well as South America. They are also known as the Taino people and they are shown on the Jamaican coat of arms. Millions of Arawak people were wiped out and forced by Cristobal and his men to surrender their land. They unfortunately had to endure rape, slaughter, and depredation. The Europeans also brought with them diseases such as smallpox and syphilis that also helped to kill off millions of Arawak people. Before European conquest, the Arawak people were agriculturalists who lived in large villages that were inhabited by thousands of people. They had a system that recognized social ranks and theocratic chiefs. They were split up into many different tribes, although they all stayed connected. The Lucayanos or Lucanos were mainly located within the Bahamas Islands. The Borequinos were located in Puerto Rico. The Tainos inhabited Jamaica, Cuba, and Haiti. And the Igneria were in Barbados and Trinidad. Haiti was the indigenous Taino name for the mountainous side of the Hispaniola island, which has retained its name as Haiti in French. There were five Arawak chiefdoms in Haiti when Cristobal and his men arrived. In Cuba, which is the largest island of the Antilles, there were 29 chiefdoms, and many Cuban regions have kept the Arawak names, such as Havana and Bayamo. Puerto Rico was also divided into chiefdoms. Sometimes the island Arawaks are all lumped into one group and called Taino. However, that is inaccurate, and that is not how they label themselves. They grew cassava or yuca, yams, corn, 
hot or sweet peppers, nuts, beans, squash, sweet potatoes, as well as tobacco and cotton. After Spanish conquest, the language they spoke became almost extinct within the Caribbean. However, it's still spoken amongst indigenous South Americans in places like Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Guyana, French Guiana, and Suriname.